here is our analysis for our fruity freeze problem. So here is the graph that we got in the previous video, in our data video, um, with our data. So what we've been asked to do for this one is we've been asked to summarise that our results. So when we look at this dot plot and box and whisker graph, the three main ideas that should come to your head are shape, centre and spread. Okay, those are the three main ideas that we always want to talk about with these kind of graphs. So let's start by thinking about the shape. Um, so if I draw my shape over the top, kind of like that, then we can see there there's a long tail on the right on the left hand side. So this is going to be left skew data. Okay, that's our first part. Um, then for our centre, well, we want to look at where our mean and medians are, um, in particular where the mean is um, for this particular example, because our investigation question was about what's the mean number of ice blocks that they were going to buy. So there's our centre, and in terms of our spread, we want to look for the upper quartile and our lower quartile, because we want to find the interquartile range, which is UQ minus LQ. And in this case, our upper quartile is 10, our lower quartile is 8, so that has an interquartile range of 2. So that's the three things that we want to be able to talk about now in our features. Okay, so first of all, we want to talk about the shape. Now remember, we've also got to talk about the data. So when we're talking about the data, it's the number of ice blocks that they're going to buy. Um, so we can say the shape of the simulated data um, for Grace buying ice blocks is left skewed because we always want to put that because um, there is a long tail on the right on the left hand side. So long tail on the left hand side. Okay, so there's our first point. Then we want to talk about where the mean is. So there's our mean of 8.68. So we can now say um, the mean number of ice blocks that Grace will buy is 8.68 and the third thing that we want to do is talk about our interquartile range which is down here um, so we want to talk about the interquartile range of 2 um, the number of ice blocks that Grace bought, will, um, will buy um, Oh, not this, um, has a, an interquartile range of 2. Okay, so there is our analysis um, for that graph. The other thing that, the other part of it is looking at that probability of winning because that was the second investigation question. So I just want to write myself a little note here. Um, the probability that Grace wins a movie ticket is 21 out of 50. Okay, so in terms of what we need for our marking schedule here, so to get through to our um, U, oh sorry, not to get to our U, to get to our achieved part of it, we need to have a mean or median or probability calculated. So just getting the graph from NZ Grapher with the mean or median on it, that gets you that part. For the merit, then we want to have our dot plot, and I need at least one feature of that graph 
discussed. So shape, center, or spread.